All right, so there we go. Wrath Jar number three. One more to go. Which would be in the Anvil Forge. Holy crap. In the Anvil Forge. Get my crossplate. Crossplate's not equipped. Okay. Um, let's put it right there. Run, Ward! Yeah, the final wrath shards should be in Anvil's Forge. Now, before I actually go after that one, I'm going to be grinding a little bit in the Ashlands so that I can afford my final wrath core from Volgrim. I will be right back. Hey, look at that. Chaos Eater has leveled up. What do you know? Good thing I decided to record this anyways. So we, now we are at level four. Cool. Hey, look at that. I got the horseman achievement or trophy, whatever. I think that's for killing 150 people on horseback. All right, I got my 10,000 souls now, which means I can afford the final wrath core. But first, I think I'm going to go to the Anvil's Ford, which is where the final Wrath Shard should be. Somewhere around here. Just got to be on the lookout for it. Let me put on this mask just in case. Could it be that way over there? Well, there's my exit, so it might just be the other direction. But where exactly is the question? And how to get to it? Huh. He said Anvil's Ford. Wait a minute, I think I see something. There we go. There we go. That did not work out so well. I thought I would auto-grab that. Guess not. There we go. Here it is, the final Wrath Shard. Which means all that's left now is to purchase the final Wrath Core from Volgrim for $10,000.
Come here. Time to talk. There it is. Ten thousand dollars. Final Wrath Core. And with that, we got the Wrath of War, the final Wrath achievement. What would you ask? And sadly, I cannot afford anything else, so the one where I buy all the Wrath abilities, that achievement, trophy, is not going to be done. Sorry. I really don't feel like grinding for another hour. Alright, here we go. Time to finally get our Armageddon Blade. Good to see you again, Horseman. Good to see you too, old thing. work until now To go back to the Ashlands. We got the ultimate blade now. Reforged by Ulthane, the Armageddon Blade is the only weapon powerful enough to dis to display the destroyer. Let's see what it looks like in the pause menu. Right there. Any special moves? No, it doesn't look like it. And suddenly I cannot equip any enhancements to it. It's basically like that. So here we go. Yeah, we're just gonna go this way. It's a lot faster. It should be the Leviathan's Drift, shouldn't it? I would assume so. He 
He should be up here. If I can actually get up there. Oh, there we go. This is for all the players, Horseman. When you proceed, there's no return. 